Physician assistants are the answer to improving and optimizing healthcare. They will cut down and reduce uh, wait times, they will improve access, and they will make physicians more effective and efficient. My name is Ashley Reed, and I'm a year two student in the uh, physician assistant program at the University of Manitoba. But prior to joining the Masters of Physician Assistant program, I did a four year degree in human nutritional sciences. Then I worked for two years um, in diabetic research. So I have a 36 year old female in clinic right now. She's complaining of abdominal pain for the last two days. Oh, yeah. So it started as a periambulatory. The PA can do as much as the doctor can do, and as much as the doctor allows the PA to do. Once you build up a relationship that you trust the PA, there's definitely uh, a wide scope that PA can work. Students come very prepared. There's very little that we need to tell them. Our role is unique, I think, because we get to spend so much time with our patients. So we get to get to know them, we become familiar with them, and we, we really get a good understanding of, of what, um, what is going on in their life. There's a lot of extra education that goes to patients, which they really appreciate as you as a busy practitioner don't uh, always have the time to do that. You can, you can give the attention to those more emergent cases, those more complex ones that need a little bit more attention and still have the peace of mind that maybe the more routine patients and the less acute ones are getting the care that they need. The physician provides oversight. The physician provides a structure or a scaffold. The PA practices the art and science of medicine. They do this by asking the patient the right questions. They, they start developing the history and they start determining what might be wrong with the patient. This makes the entire healthcare system much more effective and efficient. It is an economical approach to providing optimal patient care. Today is a National Physician Assistant Day and we're celebrating it by inviting physician assistants who work across Manitoba and our students here to get together and have a small uh, opportunity to interact. A PA can take over parts of your practice and the parts of your practice which you still supervise and responsible for, but they are there to help you do the work and to work with you. Being a PA means that you get to practice medicine, but you also get to have a family life. A lot of positions are nine to five or scheduled shifts and you get the chance to kind of have the best of both worlds. There have been chronic shortages in rural and northern Manitoba. Um, really overwhelmed healthcare systems where there's a lot of patients needing to be seen. So having phys physician assistants with good strong clinical background supporting the docs in uh, providing uh, care to those patients and supporting the uh, physician in the office in terms of uh, assisting patients is probably the most critical. I think you have to sort of work with a PA to really understand what they do. And I think when we started, uh, we ne none of us had any exposure to PAs and really were unsure what they did, what our responsibilities were, and how they functioned. You know, I think all of our physicians have really bought, uh, bought into the PA model of, uh, of uh, being able to extend what we do to more people uh, by having someone who, who can, uh, you know, who has uh, the, the proper training to, to be able to, to extend what we do. Our curriculum here at the University of Manitoba is a graduate level program. We provide a, uh, what is referred to as a revised curriculum based on a scaffolding and uh, spiral approach. We start off with the basic medical sciences, anatomy, physiology, pharmacology. Um, we then add more medicine onto it. And over time, we start adding more and more population-based medicine, including pediatrics and geriatrics, uh, women's health issues. We have a focus of adult medicine, but then we also branch out into including principles of surgery, uh, emergency medicine. We look at what's needed to produce a generalist. The PA is a physician extender. Uh, we work in a medical team. We have been doing patient assessments since day one and focusing on the patient care and the needs of the patient. And I feel like going through that from the very first day, even though our program's two years, I will be prepared to deal with patients after the first year of uh, study. I did choose to come to Manitoba to take this program, um, knowing it was a master's degree, and I, I knew it's, it had some prestige with that. 
clients and so recently in our department I've had a lot of the docs say uh, you know what there's a you know a trimalleolar fracture in bed 8 are you able to go put a back slab on that I have to go run and you know deal with this patient who's you know quite ill right now so they see that we have that flexibility to, to kind of do procedures like that and they're using us to, to that sort of ability. I'm uh, Russ Ives, I'm the Program Director for the Clinical and Physician Assistant Program for the province and the WRHA. You're going to go in and you're going to learn how to be, say, a plastic surgeon PA. Well, to become a plastic surgeon, it's a five-year program, but you don't need to learn everything that there is about plastic surgery. You need to learn the scope of practice of what the docs that you work for do. In other words, I know about microsurgery and I know about hand surgery, but I don't know anything about cleft lip and palate because I don't do that. There are at least 19 countries that have PA and PA model analogs. You've got uh, a cohort of professionals who genuinely care about their patients. They're eager to learn. They're eager to get the job done. And at the end of the day, they really want to make sure that the patient outcome is satisfactory to the patient and to the system as well. Manitoba is a leader of physician assistants in the country. In 1999, the College of Physicians and Surgeons of Manitoba introduced regulations that allowed physician assistants to practice. At first, we were identified as certified clinical assistants. We then developed a program starting in 2008 and rapidly began to expand the number of physician assistants we had. I really like the idea of being able to work in any area of the medical field. So I could work in pediatrics for a few years and then switch over to Emerge if I was interested in that. So that was definitely one of the things that, that drew me to the program. I'm also from uh, rural Manitoba and I know that there's a, a shortage of healthcare providers in, in rural Manitoba. So I thought it would be a great thing to go into then I can go back and give back to some of the rural communities that I grew up, grew up in. Physician assistants will make your life better. They will optimize your patient care they will allow you to remember why you went into medicine. They tell me what they know, I tell them what they know. We go both to the books and come back and we've got an answer. It makes me a better doctor. It makes me a better person. They will focus on the patient's needs and make the patients remember that they're part of a health care and a health care system.